Microphones are transducers. A transducer is a device that can convert one type of energy into another. For instance, a motor can convert electrical energy into mechanical energy or motion. A microphone can convert acoustic energy in the form of sound pressure changes into electrical energy. Depending on the transducer principle, there are many types of microphones. Carbon microphones, dynamic microphones, condenser microphones, ribbon microphones, piezoelectric, laser, fiber optic, liquid, MEMS, etc. In the AV industry, the ones that we're going to see are going to be dynamic and condenser. Dynamic microphones, also known as moving coil microphones, use the same principle as a loudspeaker only in reverse. These microphones have a diaphragm and a voice coil that can move freely over a magnet. When sound arrives at the diaphragm of these microphones, both the diaphragm and the voice coil will move over the magnet. This movement will induce a current in the voice coil. Dynamic microphones are a very simple design. They are very robust, they're resistant to moisture, they're relatively big, and usually have a heavier diaphragm. Condenser microphones, also known as capacitor or electrostatic microphones, have a diaphragm encapsulated in a case separated to a backplate. When sound arrives to this microphone, only the diaphragm moves, changing the space between the diaphragm and the backplate. The changing distance between the diaphragm and the backplate will change the charge of this capacitor. This electrical signal will represent the movements of the diaphragm in front of the microphone. Due to having to move only a very light diaphragm, condenser microphones usually have excellent transient response. They also have higher sensitivity, which means that they can pick up softer sounds. They generally have better frequency response. They can be very small and light, but they do require power for proper operation. Depending on the power requirements for these microphones, condenser microphones can come in two types, electret and externally biased. On electret microphones, the backplate is permanently charged. The externally power is only required for the impedance matching circuitry of that microphone. On externally biased microphones, external power is required for both the impedance matching circuitry and also to charge the backplate of the condenser capsule. Externally biased microphones are more common in high-end recording microphones. In the AV industry, most microphones are going to be of the electric type. Powering condenser microphones is done by using phantom power. This can be supplied by a mixer, an external phantom power supply, or any device that supports a condenser microphone. The standard is 48 volts, but we can see phantom power ranging from 11 to 52 volts. Some microphones are very susceptible to low voltages, so check the specs for this. For proper operation, phantom power requires a balanced connection, as it is using the same wires that are used for audio transport. One thing to keep in mind is that phantom power will not damage dynamic microphones.